This is your math lesson for May 13th, 2020. You will need your math book, pencil, and eraser. Please turn to page 329. Name quadrilaterals. Place a check mark beside every name that describes the figure. So you'll look at the figure. Is this a quad? Quadrilateral, remember what quad means? Think of a quad ATV. Is it a parallelogram? Is it a rhombus? Is it a rectangle? Is it a square? Check all that apply. There will be more than one correct answer. For each one, you have to judge what this is. If you need to, you are allowed to look back in your book to help you or at the glossary at the end of your book. Then you will do page 330 and they have something similar happening here except they're not showing you the shapes. Think about a quadrilateral. Does it have four sides? Put an X if it does. Do both pairs of opposite sides have to be parallel in a quadrilateral? If you think it's always true that both pairs of opposite sides are parallel, put an X. Do both pairs of opposite sides have to be the same length in a quadrilateral? If you think any of these are not true, you'll leave them blank. If you think they're always true, you'll put an X. You may need to look in the glossary in the back of your book for some of these. Try to do it with your own memory and then go back and check in the book, check in the glossary. For the bottom, you use the chart above to complete each statement. Parallelograms have all the features of a quadrilateral, so you will look and see which things were the same in parallel and quadrilateral, plus what are the other features that they have to have that quadrilaterals do not have to have. And then the same for squares and trapezoids. You may need to use the glossary and the other pages in the book to help you.